All right, everyone, welcome to Live at World. I'm here with Adam Wills. Adam, what's going on? How's it going, Sean? Glad Good. to have you. Yeah, it's crazy. So Adam has this Star Wars Champion badge on his wall. Uh, I have never seen one of these in person. How crazy is that? <laughs> you know, we've had the Champions program for 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 three, I guess, yeah, almost almost three years now. Pretty insane. Oh, yeah. Um, but Adam, you work at the Tennessee College of Applied Technologies, right? right? Here in Nashville. Here in right. Nashville. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, we're, we're out in Nashville, we're seeing educators, customers, we're, we're seeing the sites, right? Tell us, we already mentioned you're a champion, but, but tell us a little bit about, uh, you, do you guys call it TCAT? Right. We call it TCAT Nashville. Or there, there, there are 27 um, TCATs throughout the state. 27? Oh, there are 27 of us, yeah. Wow. Uh, and we, we are not competitors. Uh, we feel those are our partners in technical education, and we help each other as much as we can. Um, but, uh, but it is TCAT Nashville. Um, and I've been here for 24 and a half years, uh, doing computer aided design and, uh, additive manufacturing. And it seems like very, very hands-on. Like everything oh, you guys do is, is very hands-on, which I, mm-hmm. I very much appreciate. Well, a hundred percent. That's, uh, we, we almost, we do almost no theory training whatsoever. It's all hands-on. Uh, uh, competency-based training mm. where they are performing a task. Um, as though they were, I tell these guys uh, mm-hmm. out in my lab, they are not, at, I'm not a teacher. Okay, that's the first thing. I'm not a teacher, I'm a trainer. That, that's your day one, you're like, right. I'm not a teacher. I'm not a teacher, I'm a trainer. Um, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a temporarily misplaced drafter. <laughs> you know, I'm here, I'm, I just want to, I'm here to help them. Is become, that what it says on your, your yeah, idea? Yeah, you know, that's what I'm uh, uh, and, and, uh, and I'm here to help them become the very best drafter mm-hmm. that they can be. Um, now, we do a little bit of manual drafting. But most of it's computer uh, aided design, and um, you know, so uh, everything they do is job related. You know, um, they learn how to even even to install software. They we troubleshoot uh, added manufacturing devices. You know, we replace the print uh, the, the 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 nozzles and work on the print heads. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, we do all all sorts of hands on stuff. Um, and we have a lot of jobs available. You know, fifty grand jobs. You know. Uh, it's starting out, and uh, you know that's not um, that takes a that takes a lot of brain power. Yeah, you know? that that's something. So we went SolidWorks out. is not a, SolidWorks. That's not that's not there's not, that's not playtime. Those certification no. exams at the same <laughs> systems are serious business. You know, and so you know it uh, uh, for for somebody to to master it and and, and make the cert you know get the certs. Uh, they're really uh, they're on top of it. For sure, and that's something that we, that we talk about a lot, even throughout the year. You know, we have we have live streaming programs like SolidWorks Live, Live Design, Manufacturing Live, specifically that last one. Um, mm-hmm. where we're not really so much getting into the software aspects of things. It's mm-hmm. actually the live stream where you'll find the least amount of software. We're talking about industry topics, and a lot of times we're venturing into that idea when we're talking to you know a titans of CNC or or, or someone else about the this the skills gap that that comes up right and, right and like you said and, and the guys at titans of cnc when we went out there they said very much the same thing it's like i am able to make a great living have a very interesting career mm-hmm. and i don't have to go to a four-year college four-year university uh you know like we were saying you know take liberal, liberal arts classes right. if i don't want right. to as electives now now uh, you know <clears throat> since we're on that subject i always encourage my students after they finish this this is this is the first step Mm. Right. I always encourage them to go to college because once they are out in the workplace and they see what an engineer or an ar- architect does, they might actually decide that they want to do those things. You know, now they have a purpose. Now they have their, their entry level. They're working in the trade and they see what the folks above them are doing. Now they know why they need to go to college. You know, they, yeah. have, a, they have a reason to go. And so that, you know, that, that changes everything. I also love, like you said, with 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 everything being being very hands on, you know, trying to stay away from a lot more of the the theory based aspects mm-hmm. of of some of what we can get into in design and engineering. Maybe maybe a little bit too much sometimes. They get a very real feel before yeah. they get into the workplace of, of what that job, what that profession, what that career might look like. Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, I mean, these guys uh, they work for me basically, and I have I have jobs that they have to do right, mm-hmm. and I and I want my I want my drawings. You know, I want my models. <laughs> I'm you know, and and you know, and so uh, that's how we operate, really. That's awesome, and it's it's interesting. So 
you know, we mentioned you're in the Champions program. Mm -hmm. I, I talked to Walker Parks also in the oh, Champions yeah. program. Yes, Walker Parks, yeah. Yeah, so <laughs> it, it's interesting. He, he said, definitely talk to Adam because Adam, Adam has, you know, met tons of different students, taught tons of different students, knows a lot of members of, of industry around here. So I figured I'd ask you, you know, while we're in our sort of home territory for 3D Experience World 2023, what... What might surprise people about about the industry in in the Nashville area? How, how diverse it is, really. I mean, you know, they, they think of um, Nashville and they think of country music or they you know guitars sure, or something like sure. that. But uh, the airport th certainly perpetuates. You know, that. Uh, and that's <laughs> and that's okay. I mean, that's great. Yeah. Jack Daniels, you know. Yeah. But um, did I miss anything? You Google uh, Google <laughs> clusters. But uh, but uh, you know, I mean, we have a a, a growing uh, base of manufacturers that um, have moved here for the, for the you know, low taxes and, and the, you know, the, the, uh, the high quality workforce that we're turning out. And um, so I think that's probably the, the thing that a lot of people around the country might be surprised at the diversity of uh, manufacturing jobs and, and engineering firms and uh, structural engineering, big in this area, mm -hmm. uh, that kind of thing. So, yeah. So we, we talked about how you know, it's it's interesting with 3D Experience World. In 2020, we were here. Mm -hmm, in mm -hmm. 2023, we will be here again. We're right. here again. Mm -hmm. You've had students. You had st a bunch of students go in 2020. You have students going in in 2023, yep. right? So everybody. Yeah, like what what do you tell students um, before they go to a conference like this? Because like we were talking about before we started recording, how. And I remember my, it's like people say, it's like, I remember my first trade show. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It was intimidating. It was kind of scary, but it was definitely a, a big experience for me. Like, what do, you, what do you tell your students in terms of advice before they go to a conference like this? Well, um, the, first of all, um, you kind of have to prepare them. You know, there's going to be a big crowd of people. Mm -hmm. You might not always know where you're going, that kind of stuff, but just follow me. Everything's going to be okay. It's like the first um, day, first yeah, day absolutely. Uh, We all meet at a certain spot and then... We all go to the vendors. Let's mm -hmm. go see the vendors. I want you to go to every booth, okay? You don't have to. You don't have to have an hour conversation with the guy. Sure. But visit every booth. Pick up some pins. Pick up some swag. Learn something. You know, um, there's going to be something there at the trade show that every student can really be interested in, or will be interested in, no matter what they're. And I have architectural students that have never fired up SolidWorks for any purpose, okay? Mm -hmm. But that's not that's not the point. You know, the sure. point the point is to expose them to the trade show. Uh they're they're gonna, you know, SolidWorks for architecture. I hope we have some of those sessions again this year. Um, you know, that's that's a fascinating uh, subject for me as well. Uh even as an old machine designer, you know, but mm -hmm. um and so go to the vendors, do the breakout sessions, don't miss a thing, you know, that's my advice to them. Uh, don't be intimidated. You know, everybody's there to answer your questions. Everybody's there. Yeah. Everybody's there to say hello to you. That's what they're there for you. And so, uh, so yeah, that's the biggest thing to tell them. Don't be intimidated. See every booth. Go to the breakout sessions. Don't waste any time. That's that's great advice. I, I think really for, for almost anyone. For anybody. Uh, another thing, right, that's, that's that's big for students is is model mania. Model mania. Right? Um, <laughs> so I heard you told me that a couple of your students are... Like really raring to go. Oh, they're for model they're mania they're year. they're they're crazy for the model mania parts. So they've been I, I think they've one of them has done every one he can find. Really? Oh yeah, he's he's been doing them. Um, and I'm I'm after I'm a so so. Are you going to take a test on chapter fifteen today? What are we doing? You know, but no, <laughs> but he's working on model mania, and so uh, so yeah, you know, but uh, they're they're all they're all about the model mania. That's awesome. Well, that's that's actually one of the things that I made sure that we got here when you had students here. So mm -hmm. we could ask a couple of them at least what, you know, I, I guess going into it, how they think they'll they'll score, what, what they think they'll do, what they think their, their time will be. Um, maybe we could even, yeah, maybe uh, hopefully when we actually get to, because right now we're recording this in late November. And when we get there, maybe they'll be there. We could ask them what happened in the booth. How did it go? Right. I, I'm very excited about that. Oh, I think it, that'll be uh, that'll be very interesting. They're both good. That's great. You know, that's they, great. They got a they got a shot at it, man. They got a shot. They got <laughs> they got a shot. shot. Everyone's got a shot. That's that's <laughs> that's awesome. Um, well, cool. Let's let's go. Uh, let's go ask them how they think they'll fare. Okay. All right, everyone. So we just talked with Adam. 
we're here in Adam's classroom, as you can see. We have CAD workstations, we have 3D printers, <laughs> and we have Lisa. Lisa's here. Uh, you're a student of Adam's, but it's interesting. You're also, you're working part-time right now currently, right? I currently am, yep. And that's something that Adam mentioned. It's, it's you know, it's always the goal, right? It's like getting, getting like prepared industry users, but you're already in a lot of ways yeah. industry users. So tell us, tell us a little bit about what you do. So I work part-time at Luxview Systems, and we make custom windows and sliding glass doors for um, houses and buildings, all kinds of stuff. Just thinking, you know, we're in the classroom right now. Um, we're actually, we're, we're next to an Ultimaker. And you, you mentioned before we got on camera just now, this is conveniently, this wasn't <laughs> planned or anything. This is making one of your one of your parts, right? Yes, this is actually a lid to a water bottle that I, I made. Um, right now I'm printing it in um, some white ABS, um, but it is one of my iterations and hopefully it works. Hopefully, the, hopefully I got everything right. <laughs> so I, I wanted to ask, you know, again, we're, we're in the classroom right now. I see a bunch of, bunch of people using SOLIDWORKS mm -hmm. here. Um, what, what are some of the, the core benefits? You know, I, I can ask Adam, I can ask the teacher all day and Adam uh -huh. will have his answer. But right. what are some of the benefits that, that you've gotten out of uh, attending TCAT and being in Adam's class? Oh my goodness. Um, I know it's like, lot. it's like I could just go forever. <laughs> yeah. Um, actually I've been pushed in a lot of good ways to mm. put myself out there and I actually have just been going with it and it's been a really great experience. Like we did skills USA and we won gold with our additive manufacturing project that Congrats. we actually also use That's SolidWorks awesome. for. So, um, yeah, just being pushed to Go outside of my box is a good way to put it. Absolutely. Well, cool, Lisa. It was great to, to yeah. chat with you. We've gotten so many different perspectives here at Tennessee College of Applied Technology here in Nashville. And uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you in February. Yes. See you there. Awesome. Thank <laughs> All you. All right. Thank you. All right. So we just mentioned with Adam that we have some future Model Mania contestants in our midst, like you. And mm -hmm. I, I heard, I heard you're, you're, you're super amped up about it, but... You're very confident as well. Ah, uh, well, you know, I try to be confident because confidence is key. You know, you're not going to do anything good if you're not confident about it. But it's a lot of fun. I mean, I've very much enjoyed doing it. The challenge is a lot of fun, especially when you're doing the CSWP and it's against the clock anyway. Yeah, um, that's so true. It's, it's nice training. I love it. So it's not your first experience. So first of all, I, I, excuse me, I didn't even ask what your name was. My name is Cordell. Cordell. So Cordell, everyone, everyone's watching at home. They're, they're wondering you know, have you been practicing? You know, so you mentioned you took the CSWP. Have you been doing any of the model manias online or? Pretty much every day. Pretty much every Pretty day. Much every single day. I come in, I bust out at least two of them. You know, the ones that I've done, do them over again just to get some practice. You know, you can never get too, you know, too practiced with this stuff. So, you, so you're like in fighting shape. Absolutely. I'm trying to, <laughs> I'm trying to train for the Olympics here. So. By the way, to remind you all, it is November. It is still November. It's the end of November. The conference is in early February. So you're like, you're, you're ready to go. Oh yeah, I've been, he told us about skills. One of my friends told us about skills when I first started. So I've been thinking about it since I first started and I've been wondering about it and trying to train as much as I can, get as prepared as I can because you never know what they're going to throw at me, so. Yep, so you've been, you've been practicing your, your delete face, your replace face, all Absolutely. these like crazy abstract features. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the, the most, you know, efficient way to do things. I'm trying to um, dip into services as much as I can, you yep. know. That's key. That's key. That's you always see like it. I'm sure you've seen it's like that. That is usually what winds up separating the winners from the pack, like taking full advantage of all the different suites of, of features. Yep, All the features that they didn't maybe not didn't tell you about in Solid Professor. And yeah. They're, on, they're like, oh, hey, by the way, yep. you can do this and make it way faster. It's a lot of fun. Very, very cool. So what we're going to try to do, uh, Cordell, if I can catch up with you in February, I'd love to have you on our live show. After you, at, yeah, after you, after you do Model Mania, mm -hmm. and I hope, I, I sincerely hope that you do well, and you know, whatever. I mean, it doesn't really matter, even even if you don't. It's just like it's just putting yourself out there and trying something, which I, I very very much appreciate. Um, but sound good? Sounds great. It's all about the new experience, and I'd love to reflect on it. Cool, awesome. All right, awesome. thanks, Cordell. Thank you. Well, Adam, thank you so much. This has been an awesome tour. Uh, so I'm asking this of everyone that we see today. You know, it's been awesome talking to you. Uh, but do you have any any shout outs? You know, first of all, how can we learn more about Tennessee College of Applied Technology? Uh, well, we have a uh, obviously have a, a website. Um, it's um, 
it's uh, always kept up to date. You know? <laughs> uh, so that's uh, that's uh, you know uh, uh, tcatnashville.edu, um, and then we have um, we have a uh, LinkedIn site. Uh, the, the, oh yeah, you were telling me yeah, about that. You so know, so that, the, and that's that's the CAD pro- collective. Yeah, the, the CAD collective on LinkedIn. Um, we primarily it's it's so far it's been uh, you know me and my graduates that kind of thing. Cool. But we welcome anybody that's uh, interested in CAD. And if you're a member of the CAD collective, um, I will while 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 the vouchers last, uh, I will uh, uh, allow them to take uh, certification exams. Uh, you know, through SolidWorks, uh, you know, as long as the vouchers last. So, uh, you know, and that's, uh, you know, that's something I do for my students. We, we just give it, we give the vouchers away. Uh, we're a, you know, we're a, an accredited certification center. So, you know, I try to, I try to uh, encourage folks to get the, that certification, you know. Yeah, it's, it's, it's hugely, hugely important. Um, yeah, especially when you're, you're breaking into the, the job market. Oh, absolutely. Right? It's, a, it's a resume builder. Absolutely. You know? Well, cool. Uh, like we always say at 3D Experience World, right? It's important to make connections here, but also, you know, have those next steps to go beyond the event, right? Mm-hmm. And that's that's what this is all about. So, again, thank you, thank, thank you, Adam. Thank you. Thanks it's for coming. Yep.